wisdom. A student enrollment. That's what the class of God students enroll in. Supreme wisdom. I study it hard. The study of myself is the study of God. Supreme wisdom. Write your letter, get your X. Supreme wisdom. That's what you'll be getting next. Supreme wisdom. Some call it the lessons, but I call it life actual facts, no guessing. So what I would like to bring, you know, as um, this is this is a, a very when I was researching this, this is a very a debatable topic on something called the Aryan invasion theory. Okay, and so I'm just going to read this. It says, and this is an excerpt I got from an article on this from uh, the LifeScience.com. Um, it says, from the earliest days of colonial rule in India, linguistic. Linguists like William Jones and Jacob Grimm, who co-authored Grimm's fairy tales, noticed that Sanskrit shared many similarities with the languages as desperate as French, English, Farsi, or Persian in Russia. Linguists eventually arrived at the conclusion that all of these languages derived from a common ancestral language, which they dubbed Indo-European. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to that question and answer, it says that when, when these Yakuz grabbed the devil, when they were rounded up for causing trouble amongst the righteous by telling lies, it says that we took from them everything except what? The language. The language. Yeah. Well, since the devil brought in, you know, what if the language doesn't mean, you know, an actual spoken language or written language, I'm just going to assume that's what you mean. But I say, what if it does? You know, before I count out that it's a I was like, before I count out that it's just talking about some metaphysical thing, let me see. And I didn't even, I didn't even come, I ended up happening upon this topic, not for looking for a language connection, I was just looking for the uh, genetic connection between yeah. us, because of the message you said it happened. So far, I've been digging and I've been finding. So I was doing the same thing, and I came to this, the Aryan in, uh, invasion theory. And so, basically, just in lay terms, what it's saying is that somebody would, they were doing a study, they were trying to check, you know, trace the history yeah. of certain peoples, and they end up finding that the languages of Europeans and Indians have a common root. Mm -hmm. But the reason why this, this theory is so hotly contested, because I believe it was a British, uh, it was a British man that during the time that this was happening, this was during the colonial period, they were trying to use this, you know, happening, this finding that they found that the languages were linked to a common ancestor. They were trying to say, because we found that European languages and Indian languages have a common ancestor, that means that Indians came from white people. Mm -hmm. So that's why people are like, okay, you just you just all the way tripping. Like you you were going somewhere, but then you lost it. And so what I have here is actually, um, this is a map. I guess what people were, these people who believed in this Aryan invasion theory as such as a claim to white superiority, they were saying that this is the migration map of this Indo-European speaking people. So they were saying that these people came from somewhere up in Europe right here and then they migrated down to the Indian subcontinent. But the actual counter argument to that is that they said, that doesn't make sense because when we look at the genetics, they said that people migrated out of Africa into the rest of Asia, Europe and the rest of the world. And so this, they said that genetically, this is the proper map of the expansion of people. And guess when they said that this migration happened? 50,000. Exactly. 50,000 years ago. But, but again- But you can how the, the Indians had evolved from us um, from the African people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can easily tell that. Right. Because right. The, um, the darker skinned Indians are treated just like we are treated in, in, the, um, in the, right. um, America and in Europe. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And because of this, the caste system. system, exactly. And because yeah. of this, that's why these, 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 you know, these white Europeans that were trying to claim up. A racial superiority trying to use that fact of saying that these Aryans they brought with them, you know, the caste system and they set up this whole system where the lighter skinned people were on top. Yeah. So they're saying that, you know, because they came up with that, that means white people are the superior race. <laughs> no. <laughs> so so basically, so you see, 
but the, what I will say is that I'm saying no to the Aryan invasion theory saying that that the white people, I mean, that Indians came from white people. But what I will say about this theory is that these white folks came up on something that they found that, you know, these light-skinned, pale-faced people invaded yeah. the subcontinent at one point. But in our history, we learned that Yakub and his people started out as a group of black people. They left and went out to the island and GNC, and then what? They came back to yeah. where they came from. Yeah. And so I'm saying that that is possibly why we that, see this. That makes more sense <laughs> than the um, other way around. Right, and then what did we say happened? We said that when these people came back, they caused the people to fight, kill one, and fight and kill one another. Yeah. And within six months, the, the civilization had fallen. Yeah. And then, coincidentally, with this Aryan invasion theory, they're saying that when the Aryans came back, they were saying, I don't know if they caused it, but at the same time, the, the civilization that was here was called the Indus Valley Civilization. They said the Indus Valley Civilization fell at the same time these people happened to come back. I'm just saying. So more on this, it says, but while North Indian languages are predominantly Indo-European, South Indian languages are mostly, uh, mostly belong to the Dravidian language family. To explain this, scholars propose the so-called Aryan invasion theory that a group of people from outside India swept in and brought a proto-Sanskrit language to Northern India. The name Aryans came from a Sanskrit word for noble or honorable. In the late 1800s, British archeologists Mortimer Wheeler proposed that the Aryan people have, may have conquered and caused the collapse of the mysterious Indus Valley civilization that flourished in what is now India and Pakistan. Now, pause on that. What does the teacher say about the Indians? They're, they are original people. So here is, again, one of their scientists, one of their archaeologists, one of their men with letters saying that this Aryan race of people came in and caused the collapse of the Indus Valley civilization, or they came and caused the collapse of the original people of that part of the earth. The thing that stuck out to me, if you can go back to the, the uh, lesson, it says that in the answer, it says that Arabia, it says that, uh, it says that, that says that the root of civilization is in Arabia at the holy city map. That's what you're trying to say? Uh, Which uh, means where the wisdom and knowledge is the rich man. Okay, uh, that's what I want to touch on. Mm -hmm. They say that the root of civilization is in Arabia. That's right. Okay. Uh, at the holy city Mecca, which means it's giving you a definition for either Arabia or Mecca. Or the holy city. Or the holy city. Right. And the definition of it is, is the place where knowledge and wisdom of the original people first started when the planet was found. I was looking for the definition for the word Arabia or something that would give me an indication of the origin of the actual word Arabia. Right. Doesn't give you a definition, it just tells you about the land. Right. Now the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, I've read it and I can't source it, but he said that the root of civilization and Arabia wasn't just in the location that we now call uh, Mecca. Now, I say that that Mecca, prior to Prophet Muhammad, was not even named Mecca. That's a new name. No. Do we do we all follow what Sister Deborah yeah. said? Okay. Yeah. It was uh, Yathrib. I read that in um, Chancellor William. Yes. Yes, sir. It was called Yathrib. And so you're talking about, and, and I've heard the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad say that the root of civilization spanned from Egypt over to what we call the Indus Valley. Right. So that, that, that the root of civilization was a large place. Because if you think about Mecca, Arabia, that's a very small area. It used to just be a trading post in the desert. Right. 
until recently when they found the oil when the late 20th century. 20, yeah, 20th century. So um, the Apostle Paul was saying that there was he gives a definition of that word, the place where the original man, the, uh, where knowledge and wisdom of the original man um, first started. When started. Was Wait, yeah, first started when the planet was found. So that's a definition. Right. And so anyway, I just was tying in, um, you know, the looking at the origins of words. Right. And that that's just curious to me that Arabia. You know, we don't really have an origin for the word, but he gives us a definition right. of one of those. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's that's kind of like that same red herring that I said. Well, the question was asked. You know, Yaku, why was he included in that? And so Sister Deborah saying, you know, that's another question she's asking. She, you know, that like a red herring. It's like a stick out like a sore throat. Yeah. Hold up. You know, Mecca Arabia. This is we're talking about six thousand years ago. Mecca Arabia just really started to develop, like she said, in the what late night I mean the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Right? Or the late 1800s. Late 1800s. Mm -hmm. So with, with the oil from the uh, European. Right. The petroleum oil. And then well, even more on that point, like I said, if we go back to our teachings, when we go back to the message of black man, it says that the Indians are original people. And we I was saying with this again, this is just a theory. So don't just take it and run with it. But our base is the teachings, and we, yeah. we make everything else square up with the teachings. And so the stuff that doesn't square up, exit out. You get rid of it, and the stuff that stays, we, you know, we work with it, right? But here it is talking about, you know, some Indo-European interloper that came into the subcontinent of India and caused the collapse of that civilization, right? And we said they're original people, but even going on that, in Lost Found Muslim, that's the number one question and answer number one. Further down, it says Arabia is in the far east and it's bordered by the Indian Ocean on the south. Mm -hmm. Well, if you know a little bit about geography, Mecca Arabia is over here. It's not bordered by the Indian Ocean on the south, but India is. Supreme wisdom, some call it the lessons, but I call it life, actual facts, no guessing.